This is the first video in the How to Post Harvest series of videos from Washington State Tree Fruit Extension. This video is only a target Brix acid meter to measure soluble solids and titratable acidity in apples. I'm using the master kit of the PIL BX Acid 5 model for apples here, but the principles apply for all the models in the Otago range. This is the master kit, which has compartments in the box to keep the components secure when not in use. In the box you have the instructions, 5 1 ml pipettes, 2 100 ml plastic beakers, the Brix acid meter, the funnel used in the quick method, and the scale used in the accurate method. Don't forget to take off both of the perspex shields before use. Some of these ancillary components may change over time. I'm going to put these back while I prepare some apple juice. There are two measurement options. The first is a quick method, which involves the dilution of juice for the acid reading directly on the meter. The first step is to zero the refractometer using distilled water. The refractometer measures soluble solids or bricks. I've prepared about 100 milliliters of juice previously. Once the meter has registered a zero reading, wipe the distilled water with tissue, making sure that it is clean and dry. Then press the zero button again to zero the acidity meter in air. Once that gives a zero reading, we are ready to start the assay. For the bricks reading, simply put about one milliliter of juice onto the meter using the pipette and press start. In this case, I got a reading of 12.0 bricks. Clean the meter again with soft tissue, making sure that it is clean and dry. Add the funnel to the meter and then put 0.2 milliliters of juice on the receptacle, which in this case was four drops. Then add 9.8 milliliters of distilled water, which is to the white line on the funnel. And this gives you a one to 50 dilution for the acidity reading. It is critical that the solution is well mixed to get an accurate reading. In this case, the acidity reading was 0.15%. If you'd like the bricks acid ratio, press the R button, which gives a ratio of 80.0 in this case. And that is all for the quick method. My preferred method is the accurate method, which gives a more accurate 1 to 50 dilution for the acidity reading, which is the key to getting an accurate result in this regard. As before, you need to zero the refractometer with distilled water and the acidity meter in air. I've prepared a 1 to 50 dilution of juice to distilled water previously. This contains 1 milliliter of juice and 49 milliliters of water, which is measured using the scale. It is critical that this is done accurately. Where I used the provided pipettes, this would be much easier with a displacement pipette and a bottle top dispenser. For the bricks measurement, dispense about one milliliter of juice onto the receptacle using the pipette and press start as before. While that is measuring, stir the juice solution quite vigorously to get an accurate reading. Clean the meter with soft tissue, making sure that it is clean and dry. and then dispense about one milliliter of the juice solution onto the meter and press start to get the acidity reading as before. 
And that is the accurate method done. In conclusion, the Otago Bricks Acid Meter is a good option for measuring soluble solids or bricks and titratable acidity. The acidity values are approximate to the auto titrate of standard, but are quicker and easier. The measurement of soluble solids is straightforward, while the accuracy of the acidity measurements relies on an accurate 1 to 50 dilution. I recommend doing the dilution using a displacement pipette and bottle top dispenser for accuracy and expediency. Thanks to Otago for loaning me this instrument and for the assistance from the Washington Tree Fruit Research Commission. This video was made possible by the support of the WSU Tree Fruit Endowment. This has been Rob Blakey from Washington State University Extension. Cheers.